Hi, this is Sandeep Jali, Jasara and Manos Prilakis, presenting case 285 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of retrograde crossing through four layers of stent. The patient was an elderly gentleman with previous bypass who had va- failure of the vein graft to the obtuse marginal branch that was stented, but he was sent for attempting to recanalize the native circumflex CTO. He had normal left ventricular injection fraction. On coronary CT, there are multiple layers of stand in the left main, heavy calcification in the circumflex. There is a vein graft going to the obtuse marginal branch with a distal anastomotic lesion along with the previously placed stand. And the same is seen here on the saphenous vein graft, prior stand, distal anastomotic lesion. This is the native circumflex. And this is the coronary angiogram showing the SVG to the obtuse marginal branch. There is an astomotic lesion, especially proximal to the touchdown, and the circumflex fills retrogradely, and uh, there is a gap between the left main and the circumflex. So to assess the circumflex CTO, there is a blunt, ambiguous proximal cap, and there are four layers of stents covering the ostium of the circumflex. The length is about 25 millimeters, Distal vessel is small, diffusely diseased, and fills through the vein graft that can be used for going retrograde. So our plan was to go retrograde through the saphenous vein graft, try to resolve the proximal cap ambiguity, and then try with undergrade crossing. We did use big guides by femoral approach, eight friends AL1 for the vein graft with a seven friends strap liner, along with an EBU for the left main. We then use the Sion Black along with the Sasuke microcatheter to advance the guide wire retrogradely, and the Sion Black went uh, well into the uh, native obtuse marginal and then retrograde uh, over to the circumflex. We were then able to advance a Corsair, but had some difficulty getting up all the way to the native left main. We switched. Uh, for a guy in X2, still some difficulty getting the microcatheter up because of disease into the circumflex. So we switched for a fine cross M3, which is very deliverable, and the fine cross actually went further up, almost all the way to the left main, and then we had a Gladius Mongo, and we're trying to find out where is the proximal cap. We came very close to the left main and tried multiple wires, including guy in X2, Hornet 14, Confianza Pro 12, but all the wires uh, remained extra black. We were not able to make it through the layers of stand. We did IVUS on the left main and there was significant stand under expansion. So we went ahead and ballooned it with a 3.5 millimeter OPN balloon up to 50 atmospheres that successfully expanded the stand. However, despite that, we still have uh, difficulty puncturing retrogradely into the undergrade stand, the wires kept on going into different planes. Multiple attempts again, we did use uh, a Gladius MG, a Gladius Mongo, and we had difficulty redirecting it to a favorable position, but eventually after multiple attempts, we did have this um, um, good appearing location clarifying the proximal cap ambiguity. We then decided to go undergrade. We did multiple attempts. We used a Venture Microcaster, one of the few remaining ones, didn't work. We used a 120 Supercross, also did not work. But eventually, using the Sasuke Dual Lumen, along with the Gaia NX3, we were able to puncture undergradely following the course of the retrograde Microcaster at wire. This took a, a lot of time and persistence and multiple wires. Now the microcaster could not cross into the circumflex, so we used uh, small balloons. And after doing that, we were able to advance the Corsair inside the circumflex, knuckle the Mongo, and now we have overlapping wires in the extra plug space into the circumflex. So very good development. We will try to bring in a guide extension all the way into the circumflex using inch warming, but uh, it was not possible because of the stents. But nevertheless, we were able to advance the retrograde Mongo, and after a couple, couple attempts, the retrograde Mongo went into the undergrade guide extension and the undergrade guide catheter, and we externalized the R350. 
we balloon into the circumflex and to restore some on the great flow and then decided to stand uh, using the T technique given the favorable angle between the left main as well as the circumflex. So we place the drag eluting stand and that uh, provided a good result proximally. But then there was significant disease distally with poor flow. So we were able to use uh, the Sasuke to wire into the obtuse marginal branch. And then we delivered another drag eluting stand to cover all the way to the obtuse marginal. We almost deployed the stand before removing the retrograde guide wire. It is very, very important to never jail the retrograde guide wire. But thankfully, thanks to Dr. Jolly, we removed the retrograde gear, then deployed the stand, and then we had a nice final result with T3 flow into the circumflex and the obtuse marginal branch. We decided to not occlude the uh, saphenous vein graft that had a diffuse disease, but this could be done at the second time. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that when you have a ambiguous proximal cap, the retrograde approach can help clarify the proximal cap ambiguity. When trying to puncture through multiple previously placed tents, this is quite challenging, as was the case in our patient. We had to expand that stand using the OPN balloon and then using the retrograde wire as a marker, we were able to advance an undergrade uh, guide wire. Using the knuckle was favorable because it allowed us to follow a course, the anticipated course of the vessel instead of going potentially outside the vessel. And then uh, we were able to cross undergradely, did a reverse cart followed by standing. The other lesson here is that persistence is important. We were about to give up when we could not puncture undergrade after multiple attempts. But eventually, using the Sasuke dual lumen and the guy in X3, we were able to make that uh, puncture that was critical to the success of the case. Thank you.